welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be working on our 2019 DRZ 400 Supermoto bikes. And we did get a bunch of parts in. We still got a lot more coming in because we ordered everything to complete all the bikes. Every bike needs a little bit of something. So we got everything on the way. I don't know 100% what all came in, but I know that we have some awesome parts in. But we did find a lot of hidden damages on this bike. We'll get to that real shortly, as you can tell, probably by the oil stains on the floor over there. Not gonna say anymore, but right now, Let's go ahead, open up all these packages and see exactly what we got. First off, it looks like we just ordered another bike, but that's something that we need for one of those. Let me go ahead and take this packaging off of this so you know exactly what it is because I can't really, I don't really know what it is. I don't know, man. What could that Let's, be? <laughs> got some nice aluminum packaging on this thing. <laughs> right. But now, this is the rear subframe, yeah, right? Because you, it, if you could look from the back of this bike right here. Let me stand it up for you. Yeah, stand it up. It is slightly bent that way. So we're going to go ahead and replace that probably later. Let's go ahead and open up all the boxes first and then yep. no problem. That's going to be super easy, I think, to do. You never know, dude. You oh, probably actually, have to take the whole entire rear of this bike yeah. apart because everything hooks on there. there the exhaust, uh, the battery, I think, and uh, hopefully not the carburetor. I don't know, but we'll get to that. Let's go ahead, cut all this stuff up, and see exactly what we got. That right there is actually for our Huracan which uh stay tuned for a crazy video coming soon can't hide can't show too much of this stuff right here i'll put this aside Ooh. oh this is lamborghini stuff more lamborghini stuff we got a lot of new stuff coming so i'm gonna have to hide this too This is a box right here. Kick that to the side. We got another Yoshimura. We absolutely love the one uh, that, that's on that bike right there. Sounds amazing. Perfect sound. And a lot of people actually recommend this type of exhaust for these bikes. Like they say it's the best of power gain. So Exactly. And best sounding. That's the number one thing right there. Yeah, and if you want to install exhaust, you definitely got to jet the thing. So we got a jet kit right there, if you haven't noticed, and the uh, air filter. Yeah, air filter, jet kit. That's basically the power mods you want to do. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's the, that's the best our response, I think, to get out of these DRZs. Definitely. Dude. Let's see this thing. Hopefully it's the right one because I mean I ordered for a 2018. Yeah, they didn't I really believe. have anything for 2019 mm -mm. for some reason. But it should be all yeah, the same. Yeah, the 2018 I Google imaged it and uh, the exhaust seemed to be the exact same. Dang, that's yep. clean. That's dude. the bend we want right there. We even got a little exhaust uh, plug right there. Oh, you're detailing them bikes. Right here's a that's the main tip, dude. The main I thing think, right I think here. it's the exact same exhaust, dude. I uh, hopefully it is, because there's a there's a, ooh, that is clean, dude. Man. That is what I'm talking about right there. That's what you want. I can't wait. It's a little bit different on the tip, ain't it? No, it's the same. Oh, one. I was looking at that tip. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> that's ugly. <laughs> no, it's the exact same exhaust, dude. This is gonna make this sound and run better than that that bike over there. It's gonna be a wheelie monster now. <laughs> I think, uh, I don't know if that thing, we checked that air filter, it didn't really have that that type of air filter which you're supposed to get. I think it has an original one. Yeah, it still has the original on there. So I don't know if it makes a difference. I don't know if some of you bikers out there have your guys' opinion, we're not professional at this, but I think with the jet kit, with the air filter, and this exhaust right here, we should make this thing scream and perform way better. So let's go ahead and I say start tearing this bike apart and try to uh, install this subframe and then we'll get to these good parts.
there she is. She was wedged in there really good, but we finally got her off and uh, time to jet this thing. Might as well uh, get the kit right now, actually uh, open it up, see exactly what it comes with because we did have a fair share of messing with these whenever we were growing up with motorcycles, trying to make them faster and whatnot and trying to fix them. But right now, well, where's that jet kit at? Uh, I believe it's somewhere over okay. here. This is a J JD jetting. This is what they recommend for these DRZs, right? Yeah. So let's go ahead and check this sucker out, see exactly what these things come with. Now, we jetted a few things in, back in the day, like you said, but I totally forgot how to do it. It should be pretty yeah, simple. Know, just like, too. There's like a pilot needle and another needle. So it should uh, be pretty dang simple for the most part, but I think we'll get it. I mean, check out that packaging, you know, That's pretty nice. nice. Suzuki DRZ 400. I mean, there's an instruction manual right there. Should be look, easy. We got some new uh, bolts. I think this is for the little cover. And then you just got two jets, I guess, right? I don't know. What are these things? Is this the actual jet thing? Yeah, there's like a main jet and a pilot jet, and then these things. <laughs> what are those? <laughs> I forget what, what they're called. What are calling, those? But those should be pretty. Oh, easy I mean, to we do. got we got some instructions right here. You know, your fuel screw, pilot jet, main jet, and then that's it, basically. See, so I had one of those right. I See? guess these are our fuel screws right here, and then one of them is our pilot jet I think this is that thing and then our main jet so let's go ahead uh I think that's the top or the bottom that's this bottom part right yeah we're gonna crack the bottom of it I believe and uh, go Ooh. from there let's do it So this is officially a jetted carburetor. If you're wondering why we were drilling, it's actually to get to the fuel screw because we had to adjust it a lot bigger, basically opening it up because we did change the main jet and the pilot jet to our modifications and to our altitude. So right now we are 100% good to go. So let's go ahead and throw this thing on back on the bike. So the jetted carburetor is officially on, but it is super late because we did get an early video start. As you can tell, it's dark outside. The crickets are chirping. So tomorrow, hopefully, we can get this thing started. So we're going to catch you then. All right, it's the next day. So right now, we're actually going to start throwing everything back together, put the brand new exhaust on, and hopefully get this thing started, and hopefully it runs right. So let's go ahead and get started. So the exhaust is on looks absolutely amazing i can't wait to hear it uh moving on to this side over here we did notice something different about that bike over there with that yoshi the exact same yoshi it is missing this i think it's like a vacuum box or something it's not electrical yeah. it's some sort of box running lines to it but I, we seen how they did it and uh, yeah, they just plugged everything off so we're thinking about doing the exact same thing to this bike because the exhaust actually touches it so that's probably the reason why they did that so we're gonna go ahead and actually 
find some plugs that we can plug this off with and this wire actually just goes straight to the fuel tank so i think it runs uh, better honestly because that bike runs super good without this i don't know what it is probably some of you guys know what that is probably some kind of vacuum system but no big deal let's go ahead and delete this thing So the bike is back together. Now let's uh, give this thing a start and see if it'll actually run after all the modifications. So let's... it's probably going to need to run some fuel through it. So go ahead and do that. There ain't no fuel pump. It's not already. a fuel pump. Oh, let gonna... me turn on the fuel. Yeah, turn the fuel on. The only way to cycle the fuel, I think, is to try, try starting it. Really. You ready? Go for it. So we just got back from a little test drive and man, it runs a whole lot better, wouldn't you say? Yeah, like a night and day difference, but I think we need to take that baffle out because it makes it sound a lot better and I think it uh, gets rid of that back pressure, yeah, man. It gets rid of some of that back pressure and actually stands up a lot easier on yeah, the back. Yeah, that bike, we, we tested both of them out with swapped out and stuff and that one just stands up so much easier than this one, although yeah. this one does stand up a lot easier than it was stock. Yeah, it's a night and day difference bike, but let's go ahead and remove that yeah, baffle should, just to. Should be really simple, right? Just yeah. like one little one little uh screw there. Yeah, and it should be good to go. Let's remove it. It's hot. <laughs> Ooh. Let's get some gloves. Yeah, it is. Even that bolt is like really hot. Nice and clean on the inside though. What are you doing, Thomas? Thomas, told you to take the trash out. Thomas the garbage man today. But yeah, let's go ahead and see what it sounds like without it. I think it's gonna sound the exact same as that one, but I wonder how it runs now. I think it'll run even better. All right, so we use this little puller tool, remove this uh, little, I don't know what you'd call this. It's, I think it's called a spark arrestor. Spark resistor arrestor, whatever. Arrestor. Well, this thing was on there really tight, maybe because we rode it, expanded, got hot, but. There is something else in there, I believe, the little yeah, that's baffler. Or that's probably a spark arrestor as well. See if you can get it. Right here it is. Oh, look at that thing. What is this? Dude, that's just a power um, resistor. Decreaser. Decreaser, power decreaser, well, whatever. You got some of your fiberglass that's Let's packed see. brand new, but. Crank it up, dude. Crank it up. See how it sounds. Is there anything else in here? No, that's it. Hold the clutch. So something that I've always wanted to do is uh, come out here and do some drifts with a supermoto. Here you go. Let's since, see. Uh, since I got my helmet on, yeah. do some practice. If you fall, it's okay. Right. <laughs> the, the, the plastics are already kind of jacked up. Got a new plastic kit on the way. So.
Hi guys, so that was a lot of fun, but this clutch is kind of getting in the way. That one, that uh, Supermoto over there has a shorter clutch, it's about cut right there, and I'm gonna go ahead and try it out, see if I can do any better. That was a good old little donut session, so let's go back into the garage. All right, so we are back in the garage and we just got some foot pegs in the mail. Check those out, nice and blue, gonna match the wheels and these are enlarged, so they're gonna be a little bit more comfortable. And also we're about to install these new handlebar guards. I think that's what you call them, right? Hand guards. Hand guards, brush guards, because these are scratched up. And then after we install that, we're actually gonna move on to our super smashed bike because we found some pretty nasty damages and we're gonna talk about those right after we install this stuff right here. Check that out, this bike looks absolutely amazing. Everything that we add to this thing just makes this bike look 10 times better. The blue pegs are way bigger because uh, we wanted to go something more comfortable on the road. Them tiny little stock foot pegs just ain't gonna cut it. Your feet actually like hang uh, low and then your ankles start hurting, all that stuff when you're, you're on long trips. And we went ahead and went with the XC Pro uh, handlebar covers because these are way longer at the bottom and we're probably gonna get some enduro looking tires for this thing to take it off-road. At least one of the bikes have to have some uh, off-roading type tires, but this thing is looking great, better than ever, runs super good with the exhaust and everything. As for this bike right here, guys, we did find some crazy damage on this thing while it's just sitting out in our uh, garage. We did find some oil spots everywhere we park it. There's oil spots everywhere, over there, over there, and over here, and we are just figured out uh, uh, that there is a cracked, uh, what is this, the stator side? Yeah, I believe that's the stator. There's a cover. slight crack right here. There's oil right there. I'm guessing when this thing fell over, it snapped, hit this, put a little crack in it. So we may be able to fix that. I mean, maybe JB weld it, aluminum weld it, whatever you want to do, we'll probably uh, try to do it and fix it. Or if we find a super cheap uh, engine uh, cover or state or whatever you want to call it, we'll swap that out. No big deal. But something else that's probably even worse than that is uh, the triple clamp area where this these forks actually go on is uh, the bushing, the bottom bushing. I think there's like two bushings, one at the top and one at the bottom. Uh, they're almost like, uh, what, what would you call it? a bearing? They're yeah, almost bearing like. I think there is a bearing in there. Yeah, it's like a bearing at the top and bottom. It's actually completely wallered out. And as you can tell where it sits, it actually bent back a little bit. Can you, can you get that right yeah, there? Yeah, I, I mean, I could barely see it. And you can tell by all the paint that shipped right here, that means it had a big impact forward. So I'm guessing this guy actually flew into a back of a car or actually flew into a wall or something. Yeah, because I mean, it did give it a little bit of frame damage, I believe. It may have a little bit of frame damage, we don't know, but once we change all that, see if we can put a new bearing in, probably get new triple clamps right here for the forks and everything. They said the forks were bent, which, really don't look like they're mm -hmm. big i'm thinking that they were just talking about that uh, area right yeah. there you know how insurance companies are but what we're guessing we're going to do is actually go ahead and order brand new triple clamps brand new bearings uh we went ahead and ordered brand new plastics they're just going to take yeah. a little bit of time to get in we pretty much got everything else for this bike other than the triple clamps yep. which we'll order that and a new speedometer because as you can tell ours is toasted and they don't see that but look at this right oh, they haven't it. seen it yet that's jacked up and that right may there. be the reason why it's not starting i mean we put power to it it's just not wanting to start over or maybe there's a some kind of sensor for low oil or something like low that. oil or a low coolant because as you know the hose popped no off coolant. we did order a new one of those new radiators but, in it's actually in right now yeah so we're waiting on a brand new plastics we can't really find a brand new headlight bezel plastic right here if anybody knows where we can find a brand new one let us know on the comment section down below because we can't really find that but 
that's it for this bike we do got a ton of work left to do on this bike so we're gonna wait till all of our parts come in we still got some work to do on that bike as well as for this one too so we got a ton of new stuff coming in for these bikes but right now we're actually gonna do some fan mail all right so here we have some fan mail from you guys we haven't did this in a while so here it is we greatly appreciate it let's start with this first package right here that is awesome man somebody drew the back end of a Lamborghini that is just I love the thought and the effort put into that. Let's that is inside. dope. Yeah, I love Definitely. it. Oh. Whoa. Snap. That is sick. A little edge broke, but we can probably fix that. No Just problem. snap that on there. Look at that. Let's see where this is from. Maldon Pyres, thank you. This is definitely going to go somewhere up in our garage. All right, so next one here from Willows from Colorado. Ooh, you can... Oh, what? Oh, snap. What is that? Dang. Dude, these are freaking Son. awesome. Dang. I'm going to get the Lamborghini one. Look at that. He put Thomas and Buddy on here. You can have the Lambo one. What? I'm a Ferrari guy myself. <laughs> that and is dude, sick. This is awesome for like coffee or cold drinks. This is going to be perfect for all seasons. Let's see who sent dude, this to that is legit. Hey, what's up, Goon Squad? I'm a fan of your channel. I love seeing all the different builds. Thomas and the German Shepherd. I can't recall his name right now. I'm going Buddy is his name. Um, thanks, Willow World of DIY PS. Welcome to the Duramax family. I own an LBZ and love it, man. We definitely appreciate that. Those are freaking awesome. So these are custom powder coated and Willow's World of DIY actually recorded making these. So guys, definitely check them out on YouTube. Man, look how awesome that is. Definitely legit, dude. Thank you so much. This one is from Illinois and this says Lone Sakura. I know I completely said that wrong. It may be an I. But it's all right, let's see what's inside here. Check this out, guys. This is an awesome piece of camera gear. This is gonna make our video quality super smooth. And uh, this is from Reverse Engineered. Actually, they have a YouTube channel as well. They've been watching us since the Ruby and the Subi, the Jeep Rubicon. And they're actually building an F-150 Raptor right now. So go ahead and check them out. It's called Reverse Engineered. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. What's in the box? Yo. What's in the box? Dude, that is sick. What? That is pretty. Is that made like out of, of metal? I thought it was one of them like <laughs> dongs. <laughs> dongs, dude. That is clean. You got some sick shirts up in here. That is clean. Look, I that's like that. for uh, our niece, dude. Yeah, Look they're at that. simply built. I mean, yeah. no, that's probably for you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty cool, you know. It's nice and cute and whatnot. That is awesome. Look simply that. built. Oh, that's oh, what we dude, are. I love that what? design, dude. That is clean. That, that is, is clean. Y'all are some artists around here. Killing Creative Stephen Kill. Head, check him out for sure. That's that's some thoughtful stuff right there. I absolutely love it. I wonder if this is the same shirt. Yeah, this is the same exact shirt, dude. Clean. All the belts on the back, dude. We greatly appreciate that. That is amazing. All right, so we got an Amzol package here. I don't know who it's from yet. All right, so this is Don B, and he actually sent us some stuff for the Denali. He traded his in for a Cummins. I don't see why you would do that, but this is an organizer right here. Pretty nice, and also a phone mount, right? Yeah, phone, phone mount. And I like that one. right there. That goes, oh, that goes in the middle because they do, the GMC Denali has some big uh, holders, so that's definitely going to go to use. Thank you so much. Don B from Clive, Iowa. We appreciate it. Check this out, guys. This is from Rao Rebuilds. He designed, the, I mean, he completely decorated this box and whatnot. He rebuilt let's, the box, you know. He rebuilt the box, so let's see what's inside here, actually. We're anxious. We got some treats for Thomas right there. Definitely. We got a bone for Buddy. Man, he's oh. going to absolutely rip this apart. In like two seconds. And we also got a bed for Thomas. It's a small dog uh, bed, but Thomas will definitely fit in here. Oh, Buddy will get in that what? small bed as well. Don't, don't doubt. Dude. What? No way. A toe nut. <laughs> Not a donut. A, a toe nut. nut. Thank you guys. Peace. My channel is Rao Rebuilds. The box is Goon Squad versus Route Rebuild because one day when my channel grows big, I will be challenging you to a build off. All right, so that is all the fan mail that we're gonna open up today because we got already got a huge mess that we gotta clean up. But we greatly appreciate you guys. We couldn't have done it without you. So thank you guys for all the love and support. Drop your comments down below, your suggestions on what you think we should do to the next builds or any build ideas as well. But with that being said, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. Make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything. Also guys, be sure to follow us on Instagram at Goon Squad where you can get inside scoop there before YouTube. And if you haven't, be sure to copy some merch at GoonSquad.com and support your boys. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Be sure to stay tuned and we'll catch you next time. Peace.